this is my story of how I came up with the braless t-shirt or pajama set. Um, so about three years ago, I moved to Delhi to live with my now husband and I essentially live in a joint family. It's when you live in a multi-generational family where all those family members live together under the same roof. And what I realized was that when I moved to India was that I had to stay modest all the time. As in, I, re I basically had to wear a bra 24 seven as long as I was awake. So I feel like the most incredible feeling is when you come home from work and you take off your bra and you just feel like oh my gosh like i'm totally free i'm sweat free whatever it is and you can lounge around in your house but in india because there's still that expectation to be modest it becomes very hard not to wear a bra but the struggle i had was in the summer um when it was already hot and sweaty and it gets really hot here um you just it becomes so uncomfortable wear, to wear a bra that is so tight on your skin and causes so much sweat when bras already cause so much sweat and I thought okay I better make something well for myself really I was like I better create something because I simply cannot wear a bra when it's like 45 degrees and you know now it's March 2023 and I launched my business officially a few months ago and I just wanted to show I guess what I was kind of feeling throughout the last year and a half, which was when I actually really started creating this product. This is kind of my journey. This is my story. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. As you can see, the room is an absolute mess and there's fabric everywhere, but I think I finalized my design. So for about a year, I kind of spent just prototyping and I, when I started this process, I had no idea what the end product would look like. Essentially, I thought that it has to be some kind of thing that would cover my nipples. And so one of my first prototypes was actually just this little cardboard that I cut up from an old uh, perfume box and I stuck some tape around it because I just thought, okay, it's got to be hard enough to cover the nipples, but also flexible. And then later I kind of transitioned into making pads because I was trying to work out whether a pad was actually necessary, even though I was sure I didn't want to have a padded product. And the main problem I faced was that, not that it didn't cover your nipples and provide that modesty, but the heat issue was such a massive issue that took me so long to overcome. So a lot of my time was actually just spent dedicated to making prototypes. Okay, so this is my dilemma. Essentially, I bought this fabric, this one, um, and it works really well, but I bought it at this, um, it's a large partner girl, which is just like a general market for like consumers. So I'm just concerned I'm not going to be able to get the same fabric again. So if you look at this fabric, I think this will work, but it's quite heavy. And I think it's about 500 rupees per meter, which is quite a lot. And then the other, only other one they had, which is this one, I think it's about, I think it was like 170 per meter. Um, it's just too thin, like, and this one is so thick. So I don't think this will work. And I don't know if I can source this. Okay, I think I'm not being very efficient um, because what I normally do is I cut each shirt um, with the different, um, like, uh, material mix. And then I go sew it. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all my cutting today and then just so in mass when my new sewing machine comes because it'll be faster and it'll be the right um stitching style as well so i think that's what i should do check out this massive rod and i'm just absolutely covered in fabric oh you can't even see there's just a lot of fabric <laughs> Hello, uh, my sewing machine and my desk have come, so I'm gonna finally do some zigzag stitching. Oh, there's just too much mess in my room. <laughs> I'm 
so sorry for the absolute trash lights in here but look how cool this like multi screwdriver is and it comes with this and it fits in on both sides and like you can just it's a screwdriver now okay sorry i feel like maybe this is how tools all work but this is kind of fun <laughs> Okay, I feel like this looks so much better. Um, I've got my oh, tape, fabric tape. Sorry, I completely lost it. Fabric, fabric, um, some cuts here, machine, hopefully it works. And more material here, all my t-shirts there. Okay, it's a bit messy, but so much better than before. Today, I'm watching a show called The Stranger um because it's about 5 p.m i think it's gonna take me probably another five hours to make the shirt today i'm making a shirt from scratch because i want to use the material that i'm actually going to use in the final product Jesus okay this is one of my samples the first one i made this t-shirt from scratch and it's a bit small on me but i'm gonna give it to someone that i know to try it on and see how comfortable it is <laughs> you want some water oh wait, wait, honey she likes it just like that okay so you can see this top it's a bit tight on me, but it's pretty seamless. Um, there's a little bit here, but that's just because of the tightness of the shirt. Um, if it's a bit looser on me, it wouldn't be so visible. So it's good. So I was pretty happy with the prototype, but my only problem was that I still felt like it should be a product that didn't contain a pad because I realized that in order to remove the pad, I would have to explore a different material. So I actually ordered this t-shirt and um, they printed it wrong because I actually designed it like all the way around but the on the website you it would like cut off of the edge and they called me and they were like oh like are you sure you want to get this like print it's gonna be cut and I was like yeah don't worry like make sure it's like big but I don't mind if it's cut at the corner but they obviously thought that like the wording was more important but I actually really wanted this where the the boob was and um, so I put this on and I I realized that this was almost enough coverage um, so like this is not the same material as I'm using um, and this is not also not the same material um, so but it was close enough and I was in love with the fact it was so thin so this is usually used for like things like printing and stuff like that um, but the main problem I had was that this material would still crumple when you put it on like if you put a point in it'd crumple so that's when I developed the kind of like cutting pattern and like also like the the pattern of the um, product because it was the way it's cut now means that it just doesn't crumple and I've changed the material and like yeah I changed this and obviously added an extra layer so that's kind of how the product works. So just to add a little context, what it was, was that I had fixed the heat issue because I had changed the material. So it was no longer sweaty to wear, but what would happen is on the edge of where the print would end, because it's essentially applying an extra material onto the layer, but it's super thin, um, it would essentially crumble. So when you wore it, it was really obvious there was something inside. It's kind of like when you put on a bra and you can see the outline. And I guess everyone kind of accepts that because it's accepted that you are a bra, but I wanted this product to be seamless. So when you put on the top, it would just look like there's nothing underneath, you know, nothing, but still covered. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I just spent like two hours, like maybe not two hours, maybe an hour talking to this GoDaddy person. <clears throat> ah, none of the payments were working and it was, that the issue was with the voucher because I picked the product and I just put an auto voucher on it. <clears throat> I don't know why. 
I mean, the guy couldn't figure out. And he kept being like, do you know what the issue is? I'm like, I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> you tell me what the issue is. But it's done. Oh my gosh. I wanted to um, get the logo design, but I'm just looking at all these um, fashion brands. And it's actually just the word and they're always in black. So I'm like, oh, maybe I should, I'll just make it on PowerPoint. So <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So the original plan was to call the brand Couch Potatoes and there were two reasons. One, I kind of thought it was such a cute name for a sort of loungewear brand and I felt like the words Couch Potato really kind of symbolise that and I kept thinking how cute would a little potato on the t-shirts be? I've just sent some of my friends this collage and they've all said top left for sure. Upper left, top left, top left. And I've just put it on my Instagram. Yeah, zero followers, zero posts, following no one. <laughs> my screen looks so dirty, oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> So I started thinking about what clothes are actually called. So trousers, shorts, bra, shoes. And I think the one that struck with me was crop top because a crop top is basically just a top, which is cropped, right? And the top is just saying the top. And a top just means the top, right? Like it's on top. And I kind of thought, I want this product to be new, so I should give it a new name. So then people will say, oh, I'm wearing a looty. I'm wearing my trousers, kind of on the same level as that. But what I ended up doing was keeping the little potatoes because I wanted to create a design for my t-shirts that kind of allowed the nipple to be covered even more just visually. But I just loved the potato so much originally that I kept it in and I drew some other shapes. So what I ended up doing was finding this shop in uh, Nehru Place, which is somewhere in Delhi, and they helped me print the pattern onto my fabric. Um, and at the time, I had designed it only in um, a black version and a white version, but when I got my uh, white version stitched by my tailor, who someone recommended to me, who does all my stitching right now, um, it just looks so much like a hospital outfit. So I was like, no, this is not a pajama color. We've got to change the color. Last minute I was like, it's going to be pink. Okay. And like, I actually didn't get um, a proper sample of the pink before just going for it. Um, but I knew it couldn't be white. I was just not happy with the white. Hello. Okay. So I'm currently editing the design of my t-shirt because I think I'm not going to be able to get product photos for the first like 120 units, which is all I have. <clears throat> and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mock up the images. And I already did some for when I sent them to the printer, which was not useful, but... <laughs> okay, so basically I literally drew that and I had the patterns, which I had to send to the... Oh, sorry, the... What are they called the fabric supplier but it's actually like a wrap um more like a regular neckline now so i'm literally just editing these points which is how i originally drew it um because i didn't have any like special software so i just drew these lines manually okay so what i'm doing is i'm trying to get this um texture onto this color so i want to make sure that um it's kind of almost the right sizing because I just did it and um, yeah, like the splodges were a lot bigger than they are supposed to be. So I just want to just about get get the right um, sizing of the splodges. Obviously, it's not going to be that accurate, um, but this is the original design, so it should be OK. I might just flip it around and then. So much fabric. Okay, so these are some of the sets. There's another one there. There's one in the other corner. Um, there's some samples, I don't know, dotted around. And then these are all my fabrics. 
there used to be a bed here and then everything got moved so it's kind of just hi okay so today i finally have time to start ironing on i don't know i start prepping my shirts and shorts for sale but my room is an absolute mess so i need to sort that first um and we'll see if i have time to actually start work today Oh my gosh, it's literally the same day and my friend just messaged me being like, when well, are your shirts ready? Because um, basically, I was meant to have them done probably like two months ago, just as an internal deadline. I haven't launched anything. But she's been like, oh, like when are they ready? And I thought she was just asking like to be nice. But then she messaged me being like, oh no, I have some like shoulder pain so I can't put on a bra in the evening and I wouldn't be able to sleep comfortably. And so I called her and I was like, hey, look, um, I, don't, I wasn't planning on it being done this week, but I can make you one. And she's like, yeah. And I told her the price and she's gonna get it. Oh, I'm so excited. Woo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Thank you for watching and there is more to come soon. <laughs> Thank you.